Burgess Taylor and this is going to be a quick introduction. I am showing off how I am going to be setting up Back to Basics April. I am using my most recent Janelli fish. This is a standard. I actually have A5 books in it though. It's a standard trifold. This is the dark unicorn and it is so gorgeous y'all. I don't have the arms that came from Janelli fish. Yeah, Jen sent me both of them. Her Traveler's Netbooks don't really come with the charms anymore unless you order them. I missed that. <laughs> I missed that. To all for watching, I missed that. So what I have in here is I have an insert I picked up from TJ Maxx on clearance. It just has lined paper in it. And this will be my morning pages journal. This is going to be my doodle thing. And then this is my omni journal, if you will. Um, I kind of quit labeling things so much because a lot of people are like, well, what? It could be, it is a combination journal. It is an everything journal. And so in sort of one book July spirit, I'm kind of doing everything in this. Aside from the morning pages, like I talked about, and then this is for extra stuff that I do for like Patreon, if I make a PDF or something, that's what I'm probably going to end up using this for. So I've set this up and I'm going to do a flip through of what I have here because um, a lot of people are kind of under the impression that we're doing One Book July. We're not actually doing One Book July, which is why we're calling it Back to Basics. I got the premise for Back to Basics April from One Book July. I remember back watching Romani's, one of Romani's first videos, I don't know exactly which one, about One Book July, but she mentioned it in several others over the years. Uh, One Book July is about getting back to the basics with your planning, and it can be journaling as well. So getting back to the basics, I've had trouble over the past six weeks, had trouble planning well, with a lot of various things, because one, I've been sick for a six and a half weeks now, two, because of the being ill, it's uh, just sort of taken over, it did. I ended up with my anxiety heightened, my depression worse, uh, my ADHD a little bit out of control some days. I couldn't focus. I didn't want to journal. And when I don't want to journal, there's something wrong. There's seriously something wrong. Yeah, there is seriously something wrong when I don't want to journal. I needed to get back to basics. I talked about that in a coffee chat, how I didn't have planner journal piece. It, maybe it's elusive, I don't know, but before all of this, I was doing really well. I was doing really well with my journaling and my planning. I had things set up. I had the hub was sort of my omni journal, and then everything else kind of fit around it because I add extra stuff, more detailed stuff to the other traveler's notebooks, to the other things, and I had my Hobonichi A5 as my personal thing, and then things just got all, uh when I got sick. I couldn't do everything anymore. Um, I just, I couldn't. I didn't have enough time. I didn't have enough energy. Well, I had plenty of time. I just had no energy. Let's face it, just to be honest. I had plenty of time because I was sick and I didn't want to do anything. And when I did try to do things, it was doing really good to get the basics out of the way. Like cookie for myself and Mr. Rockstar. Um, like, and is that I got behind in everything. I got behind in the housework. I got behind in my stuff. I got behind with everything and I felt completely out of whack um, to be honest I the the more things got out of whack the less I wanted to do things um, even when I had energy on a couple of days every week when I feel a little bit better I would clean the house clean whatever I could in the house get some laundry done get the dishes done get the kitchen mopped and swept and the bathroom cleaned and pick up the living room you know, I was doing good to do all of that, and I tried to do journaling. I did make it through half of the month's prompts, and I need to work on catching up on those. But, you know, to be honest, I just, I, it was all I could do to get a few things done. Um, so every time I would fill out the bullet journal, you know, my to-do list, I would write all the things I knew I needed to get done, and then I would be lucky if I got a tenth to an eighth of those things done. If I listed six things down, I was lucky if I got two done. So I decided I need to make some kind of change. First of all, I'm sick. I still have the stomach flu. Um, my sinuses are still all screwed up. 
And I said, you know what? I can't do this anymore. Camp Nano Rhyme is around the corner. I have responsibilities. I'm resting and I'm taking breaks and I'm not burdening myself with a five gazillion things to do in one day anymore. I've slowed down. So April is all about getting back to the basics and finding out what really works for me, what I love, and streamlining things for myself so I can work smarter, not harder again. And this is going to be a rather long video because it's going to go up on Patreon first and I don't really edit much for Patreon. But I thought y'all might want to know, like, one, what videos are going to look like for Patreon if you, in case you want to subscribe. Uh, they, they get stuff ahead of time or they get stuff that I don't publish anywhere else. I thought, you know, it's time for me to do something. And in a conversation, in a live chat, and in a Google Hangout with some patrons, and in a conversation on YouTube with one of my coffee chats about not having planner journal piece, there were a lot of other people who were feeling similar, but in different aspects of their lives, like minimalizing, streamlining um, projects, or maybe um, minimalizing stuff in their house, um, like the Comrie method or that uh, the Fly Lady, or in general with spring cleaning coming, and I know a lot of people are doing that. Uh, also with areas of like maybe gardening or their health and fitness, all different kinds of things. There are things that um, came up in conversation that really had to do with getting back to basics. You know, maybe it has to do with your supplies, your craft or journal or writing or art or whatever supplies. For me, it extends in the whole house. Um, I know I need to organize my closets, which means purging things I don't love, things that don't fit, things that are broken, torn, ripped, whatever. I need to get rid of some stuff. I decided I was going to pick three or four main areas, work, personal, and home. Okay. For me personally, there are some things that I know I need to work on for me, like making time to exercise every day, whether it's walking around the yard for 10 minutes or an actual 30 minute to an hour walk. I need to get outside more. I need to get some fresh air. I need to get out of the house more and socialize a little bit. I need to do my artist dates again. I need to do a lot of things like that. I also need to organize some things in our house. We have some DIY projects we need to work on. But in order to do some of this, like steam clean our carpet, I need to rearrange some furniture and get rid of some furniture that we really don't love, that we really don't need. Um, so a lot of that has is what Back to Basics is about. So if you want to join us, feel free. Like I said, we're using the hashtag Back to Basics April, and we're going to be doing Back to Basics in all different kinds of areas. So you can pick your pictures on Instagram, um, on Twitter, you can talk about it or put pictures up or and or both. And um, we're doing this in the Patreon group and the Journal with Burgess group and Destination Me. Um, I'm going to have stuff up on YouTube about it. I'm going to be doing weekly updates during the month of April. Um, you'll see um, blog posts about it. So if you put in that hashtag, it should pull up pretty much anything that's not in a closed group, but is out in the open for social media, or if you belong to the groups. Destination Me is for women only. My Journaling with Burgess is about anything and everything journally, so it, it's men and women, it doesn't matter. Um, I only ask that people be at least 18 years or older because I do tend to have a potty mouth, but if you really want to participate, that's all you got to do. People may be doing YouTube videos about it too. That's cool. I would love to watch them. If you are, let me know down below. And I'm it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'd show you what I'm going to be doing for April. Um, for the Back to Basics April, I'm going to be uploading this Monday. But I wanted to get it ahead so y'all would have it for Patreon. It may not actually happen until Wednesday. Um, I thought about doing it Friday, but Friday is just too close and people kind of need to know what Back to Basics April is. And this is what it's going to be about for me, basically. This I chose to do for my morning pages. And it, I have a little magnet right here so I can bookmark it. I just like these. I, I really do. I just like them. Um, I may end up using that in here, though. So I... Um, 
continue using my little A6 Hobonichi for the prompts. Um, I was thinking um, you just kind of draw something by itself. Maybe if I do urban sketching or if I don't, you know, because I have the watercolor thing. But the whole point of this is kind of doing the basics. So if I want to just doodle or I think about making a PDF or whatever, I have this in here. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to use the watercolor sketchbook if I actually go urban sketching during April, but I don't know. So I'm going to cover this. I haven't decided how I'm going to cover it yet. I've done the inside with what I'm considering to be sort of my vision board, um, vision board stuff on the um, inside back and on the outside and continue and maybe add pictures and stuff. But this was art and quotes and stuff that I really liked that spoke to me. So the key, and like I said, this says follow your yellow, okay, start over. With Back to Basics April, I am using One Traveler's Notebook. A writer's Bible is right here. Um, pretty much decided to break things down, um, use primarily just things being Camp NaNoWriMo, there's no way to get around having my writing stuff. But, instead of having a big journal, I can have an insert for my morning pages. I can have an insert for extra doodles or PDFs or anything that I create, say for Patreon or something. And then I have my one notebook that will include the bulk of my journaling and um, my planning going to continue using my A6 Hobonichi for journal prompts simply because it's um, already set up to do that finally and I'm really happy with that and there's nothing I feel like I need to change with that. So this is about getting back to basics so what I don't need to change like the writer's bible I'm not changing I'm continuing with it but with some things I need to change so this has a inspiration board so it's in some art and stuff that speak to me and make me feel good. Um, in the front of this I have the key and I have um, verse like Dorothy and it says follow your own yellow brick road. The index, I did some journaling. That was computer stuff. So I've done some journaling. I did some basic writing. And now I've set up April, and normally I would make um, this last week of March in the very beginning of April, part of March, but because I'm starting this, I wanted to go ahead and kind of get started. I got a new computer, and I need to finish the prep for Camp NaNoWriMo, so I'm just going to do it this way. So, flowers, bring me flowers, I did, and it's the beginning of spring. I did the showers. And it's all, we also have Palm Sunday and stuff, so I drew a palm. I think that's a palm. It may not be, but you know. And I drew like a flower. I did some doodling in it. Haven't written any dates in here yet, but I am. So I set this up as a master list and then home and work. Very shorthand over here. I have my moon phases over here. You can actually see how much I get done. Um, I've been putting moon phases on the calendar for a long time, but I, oh, I used to only put like the full moon, the new moon, and the two quarter, the quarter moons. But now I'm, I'm decided to go ahead and put all of it because it was actually in the Hobonichi, and it's on the app I have on my tablet, so it made it really easy. So this is my master list. I'm not quite finished with it. I have things for Camp NaNoWriMo. I have things for Back to Basics April. I have things that I'm going to be doing in the house. I have things that I'm going to be doing with a number of like, you know, videos and all different kinds of ideas, things that I know I want to do, like blog posts and videos. And my theme for this month is going to be spring colors and books. I passed this part, but I wanted to put that on there. But the rest of the month, because it is Camp NaNoWriMo, it's going to be spring colors and books. So I will be using various types of washi tape that have to do with books. Um, so I have an April tracker. I'm going to try it one more time. I put my mood stuff down here. 
mood, anxiety, depression, and whether I'm, I have things like happy, excited, sick, pain, fidgety, sad, meh, mad, very sad. And then I have my habits, exercise, bed by 12, self-care, water, meditation, up by 8, 30 minute clean, blog post, YouTube, Instagram post, destination me post, and journal with Burgess post. And I also need to write the camp, the cabin. And I'll go through and do the dots. Makes it easier when I color it in if I can outright see the dots because... I'm getting old and I have bifocals and these dots are a little bit sometimes hard to see depending on the lighting. I don't have one when the light is good, but when it's kind of meh, dark, not so much. So I wrote this and drew this. I saw it on Pinterest or on Facebook or Instagram or somewhere. Clutter, find simplicity. From discord, find harmony. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity, Albert Einstein. And of course, we have the April showers theme that I saw somewhere. It didn't. I don't think this all. I wanted to do like a little thing, so I said, "Be the change," because April is back to the basics and changing things up, so I can write every day and I can do my art stuff and I can lessen some of this anxiety and depression and help myself focus better. I, this was important to me and this spoke to me. This was just. I found this and it felt like. I was meant to find it. It felt like synchronicity. So, my spring cleaning. And I don't know if you can see. I'm going to... Some of the pink underneath here. But this says, and I don't know. Maybe you can see it. But underneath cleaning, it says spring. And then in front of each of the two, to do, to buy, to change, it says shit. Shit to do, shit to buy, shit to change some a little thing that has the watermelon i thought it was cute because it's a spring color and with the warmer weather coming it makes things just a little bit you know more interesting to add things like this so it's a tip-in um i haven't really been doing tip-ins very much lately but talisha has been doing the tip-in for our journal prompt so i thought on one side i do the tip-in for our journal with burgess and destination me journal prompts I do the journal prompt for the two Facebook groups and for Patreon. Um, people choose to, everybody can kind of be following the same. And I make it interesting. I add things from different spiritualities, things from different things where you could art, um, you could do, create art in various forms. You could do lettering, you could write quotes, you could take pictures. I mean, there's all different kinds of ways that you could do this prompt. It's not a letter with me or a doodle with me or a draw with me or anything like that. It's just a prompt for your journal. It can be whatever you want it to be. So this is the back to basics thing, and I'm kind of breaking it up into the main things I because I'm not going to be able to do more than three or four things in each of these categories. If I get all of that done in April, I will be doing good. Most of this is where I'm going to start in April, and as I get through things, that'll be great because this is going to be for the whole summer. Back to basics, April, right here, and I have my primary goals, and I'm writing them down. Myself questions and putting little things about what, what are my absolute favorites. So during April, I'm getting back to basics. I want to know some of these things. What are my supplies I could live without? What, what? What? It should be which of which of my supplies could I live without? Supplies I could live without? I guess I don't know. Um, right now I need to drink more coffee. Supplies could I live without? Okay. Here it says, do we really need all that plastic storage stuff? Purge, organize, and clean. So I'm asking myself questions that I want to answer and do things about during April about getting back to basics theme of books and I don't know why this page curled like that but um this coming week I went through the April 2nd see I have some spring uh, colors and same colors that are in that washi tape and I wrote some things down and then I'll have notes and these are just the basic things now as things come up like what what is due when and if something comes up or get an idea or add, I'll add information to it with the to-do and then in a different color ink, I will write maybe little side notes or something. 
and then starts my I will be doing is I will actually be doing quite a bit more text journaling I will be getting back to my roots with journaling I will most likely be doing this the I will do the Sun and the moon phase and the temperature um, but my to do's are um, I'm hoping my to do's are going to be right here for each day I'll actually go through and write what I actually need to do it might be in two columns or I might end up writing notes I don't know um, or put, putting more stuff right here but I really want my to do's um, here or on the big page or I may I don't I, um, so that this can be more journaling I may end up with a sticky note on there with the to do's really I think it's going to be in this weekly and then these will be regular journaling pages like what I have here here where I do a little bit of you know I, I do some artwork watercolor I have a few odds and ends you know and this came on happy mail that I got this was the picture where we were replacing the flooring in the kitchen and this was a symbol that had to do with something and I thought it was interesting we've been sick um, we ordered the computer stuff so that's a big gigantic tower but that's nothing like what my tower actually looked like I watched Doctor Strange that was a really good movie today and I wrote some stuff down um, on some mail that came in advertisement so I liked it and I put it right here um, and I will enter information in here and I may end up putting little to do like things notes about things to do here and then adding it you know to my weeklies um, and I may end up having more to do kind of stuff here but I don't I'm trying to get back to basics here I don't like having my to do's really on my art page my journal page at all um, I don't mind the post-it note and I don't mind the to do's in the weekly so I may end up making my post-it notes with the to do's tip ins we shall see but that's what I have going on I am going to be doing some house projects going through some more of my clothes um, this one book one traveler's notebook kind of thing for everything except for my hope I want to during the month of April get Victor for at least two nights especially now that hopefully hopefully I don't knock on one here um, starting to feel better um, I want to organize my supplies and clean I want to get through that closet in there create a blog schedule um, paint and fix the bathroom um, closets but um, and then I have a few extra things so that's what we have going on um, for my setup like I said back to basics April is really more about getting back to basics whether it's your journaling your wardrobe your health and fitness um, my goal and it's that's why it's on my tracker a lot of this is actually on my tracker um, habits I want to get better at exercise I want to exercise every day whether it's for 15 minutes or an hour maybe it's just walking something but as long as I do at least 15 minutes worth of exercise that will get filled in um, but as long as it's you know one of these it will get as long as it's 15 minutes um, at least it will get filled in bed by 12 so I can you know get better sleep up by 8 so I'm getting basically 8 hours if I do that self care if I practice 15 minutes worth of meditation do my morning pages anything time as long as I do that for at least 15 minutes we're good more water uh, is like if I drink um, one bottle bigger bottles it will be half of a box if I drink two it will be a whole box matter 15 minutes like self-care I have I, I said medication but meditation but this is separate um I don't know what I meant but I put them in here because I wanted them to be separate now I've got to figure out what exactly self-care may be taking 15 minutes for myself to um, read a book or to um, and not worry about exercise and just enjoy the sunshine or go somewhere and get out of the house 
or take a long hot shower or a long hot bubble bath, drink a glass of water. Something that I do just for me. Um, 30 minute clean, blog post, this won't be every day. YouTube, that might be every day depending on whether I do the 5 or 10 minute vlogs. Um, Ramo, I'm not sure if I'm going to do them. If people want them, I may do them, but I'm not going to do them unless people actually want them because they're time consuming. Um, and that's time I could actually be spending writing. Post, destination me post, journal with Burgess post, and then the cabin. I need to be posting in the cabin and checking it every day. Um, where I'm at right now, um, on everything I need to get together for this weekend, um, I have that stuff in my bullet journal my work bullet journal and this is the Janelli fish iron that I am using and it is gorgeous it is gorgeous the only thing that would have made this custom colors so this is just the darker version more fuchsia less red than my custom color so that's it y'all have a good one thanks bye